Hello, I'm Bill Poig. I'm the Sales and Marketing Manager for North America for Planners for Case IH. And today we're going to have the opportunity to talk a little bit about our new Twin Row Planner, the Case IH Twin Row Planning System. Uh, as you look at it, uh, and w if we want to really focus this on strip tillers and no-till uh, folks, this really gives you an opportunity when you're um, are restricted to a certain row spacing to allow you to take advantage of the increased uh, populations that seed companies are moving toward with their new genetics and varieties. This will allow you to uh, look at the opportunity of experimenting with uh, 35 to 45,000 population on corn and by giving you an 8 inch spacing on a 30 inch centers it allows you to place the crop in such a way that you get more placing and spacing for that plant so you can better utilize your sunlight. So as we talk about population, where, what we're trying to do, and of course the no-tiller has been excellent in doing this for years, is conserve your moisture and to maximize that usage, your nutrients, and of course uh, with that your sunlight exposure. So with the twin row, you get the row shaded faster uh, in most situations versus a 30 inch row. And of course with uh, the, <clears throat> the shading, you also get a good sunlight utilization of your, your plants. This particular unit can have its meters timed so that you can even get more optimized spacing of the corn within the row versus the two rows that are side by side. And as I mentioned earlier, they're eight inches apart. And so what you do is you turn a 30 uh, inch row, center to center row spacing to almost 22 inches from one row to the next. And as a result, that better utilization, that better shading, uh, better weed control, and uh, better utilization of your sun, nutrients, and water. So there's a considerable amount of, of opportunity with a twin row concept. Now if you're looking at going with these higher populations on a longer period of time uh, and you decide that's the right thing for your operation, I think eventually then it would uh, probably behoove most users to take a look at going to what I'll call an ultra narrow row planner and that would be something in the 15, 20 or 22 inch uh, row spacing and then using something like an early riser with its agronomics to really optimize your yield potential. This particular unit though that you see behind me has really been designed uh, to take advantage of, of things that, um, uh, of what a conventional row unit does today. Uh, you'll notice that we, we make standard equipment for the no-tiller, the auto down pressure control uh, with its, uh, on the row unit. We make seed firmers standard equipment and our closing system which we recommend will actually do a much better job of giving you soil to seed contact. It has much more flexibility if you for some reason have to change your practice or you have multiple tillage practices on your farm. You can go from no-till, strip till to uh, even conventional till with the type of system that we'll recommend for you. And of course we understand uh, uh, we make standard equipment what others make optional because we do a, uh, we understand the agronomy of that row unit probably as good as anybody. One of the really outstanding features though on this is that it has a staggered disc opener just like a uh, early riser planter does and as a result you can slice the residue much more conveniently and it takes much less weight to penetrate tough soils or hard soils or extra dry soils as many as many uh, as some of you would be coming off of during this uh, dry year. So overall, when you add uh, that uh, staggered disc opener, the automatic down pressure on the row unit that gives you both up and down pressure, and it does it very, very quickly, almost instantaneously, like any, unlike anything else on the market today. And then the standard features that we put on this row unit, or equipment that we put on this row unit, makes it really, for those that are in no-till and conventional, or no-till and strip-till conditions, and using uh, some competitive planner, you'll really like the agronomics and the performance that you will get out of this planner. Well, one of the things that they need to look at, especially their moisture consideration. 
um, if they are on the verge of of um, having you know, if one of the reasons they're doing this is to conserve moisture and they don't have a, lo a lot of rain uh, fall during the year, as you increase populations, the demand and draw on moisture become much, much higher. And it, as a result, they can actually damage the yield if they have too much population for the moisture that is available. So that's something they really need to take a look at as far as the consideration. Uh, a positive look at the cons uh, consideration is that this system is set up so that it can put down dual rates of fertilizer. So if you want to do a pop-up to get uh, the stuff up out of the ground and, and put on your nitrogen then at the same time, you have that capability with this planter. And so as you look at it, population is going to be the biggest one, and then you have to look at your condi moisture conditions. Uh, and depending on what kinds of moisture conditions that you have, determine whether or not increased populations are going to be advantageous to you.